It's Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Hey, we're about to quickly create objects from reference using the Adobe Illustrator Shape Builder tool. Hey, welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. We're about to create a shape, um, some object, basically, uh, flying software flying saucer to be a little bit more precise directly from a drawing I did um, in Adobe Illustrator and make it look pretty awesome and quickly in Adobe Illustrator um, if you ever really worked too long with Adobe Illustrator sometimes creating objects can be a little bit of a chore but with the new shape builder tool that came out um, a couple years ago that whole thing is a much simpler process I'm gonna walk you through it real quick how awesome and simple and amazing it can be uh, to be able to create um, cool shapes and stuff so uh, with that being said uh, let me go ahead and show you all right so what I'm going to do let's go over here to uh, our artboard here we've got this really really cool thing that I created all right, a little, little drawing I did. I took a photo of it with my phone, and I go went ahead, uploaded it, and attached it to uh, this uh, background layer here. And I locked it so I wouldn't be able to touch it, okay? It's just a JPEG, uh, nothing crazy about it, all right, so that um, um, I can use it as a reference to create the kind of shapes that I wanted to do. So a lot of times, uh, people who do uh, this a lot will find that creating um, drawing it out first before uh, doing it does make this a little bit easier process all right here's my shape it's a little crude but it does work out all right here's what I want to do what I want to do is I want to start uh, by actually using these uh, shape tools but I don't want to fill and this is important when you do this don't use a fill all right when you're not using a fill, uh, the whole process can be a little bit more intuitive. But don't be confused when you don't use a fill. As far as the look is concerned, it's normal. All right, here we go. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool, which is a circle tool. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create, oh, click on the right layer. Huh? Important, important. I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, about the right shape. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just got to give that feeling uh, what the original artist intent was, which is about there. Okay. Now that I did that, uh, let's look at it. We can see what behind it, so we can see the shape we made by making the layer disappear. All right. But I'm going to copy and paste it so that I can have the exact same shape, but underneath it, because we're creating these two shapes on top of each other to create the actual body of the of the flying saucer I created. So I did that, now I'm going to go to align and align it to selection, not artboard, selection, so that I can make sure that these line up evenly on both sides. All right, that's going to be important in the longer run. Fair enough. Now, let's create some more of these shapes. Next shape I want to create is the head, the top of the spaceship. I want to go ahead and make sure that I get these sides in really good. So, boom, boom. It's more important. Now, you notice that the shapes are starting to go into the other shapes. That's okay. All right? The shape Builder tool is going to make this easy. I'm going to show you why in a second. But as you can know, I'm building this in real time to show you how quick and simple the entire process is. Let's go ahead and create a few more shapes here. I'll go ahead and create this bottom shape. All right? This shape right here. All right. Uh, once I created that shape, there's one more shape to create, and that's this bottom shape right down here. Boom. Now I've created that line as well. You go, okay, Lyle, that's cool, but when I look at this, this is not the shape, but that's where in the Shape Builder tool makes this so much easier. Oh, ha, I forgot there's one more shape to do. That's the line that connects from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and create, click the Pen tool. Go ahead and make sure that I have, uh, I click on the outside. I click where it says Anchor. I click to the next one that says Anchor. 
and I click outside of it. Very important. Um, to stop making the pen, I press escape. Let's do this on the other side. I press once, anchor, anchor, outside, escape. All right, now I've got these two objects right here. I'm going to be able to do the same with the rest of them, but let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to make it disappear, and let's see if we can create this real quick. All right, now, to do this, I'm going to just simply select it all. All right, I've now selected the entire thing just using a quick, um, quick selection process, and then click here, Shape Builder. All right which is shift M shift M is shape builder now I'm a shape builder you notice that it's going to highlight a bunch of the shapes I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my uh, background for reference to help me out here but watch I'm now gonna create this middle section I go click hold and it starts to put these shapes together look at that let's do that above Click hold. Look at that. Right? Click hold. Right? Oh, look. I didn't add this to that or the other side. That's okay. Click hold. Click hold. Now let's do this bottom part, click hold, do the top part, click hold, and just that quickly, I've now created the basic shape. But if you notice, there's all these little edges out here. Lyle, what do I do? I don't want these edges, I just want this middle part. That's okay. You hold the Alt key. When I hold the Alt key, you'll notice that the plus becomes a minus. That means you sub subtract shapes. So I got a shape builder and now a shape subtractor. I hold it, click. Oh, ah, you can subtract a little thing. Control Z. Let me try that again. Click hold and done. Click hold that shape. Click hold that shape. Click hold this shape. Click hold that shape. And just as fast as I can do it. Oop, there's one more. Ah. When you unselect it, that's okay. You just select it again. Click the Shape Builder tool again. Click Hold. And that should be it. Amazing sauce. I've completed. Oh, look. Huh, there's some leftovers here. We can add those as well. Let's go ahead and just do that so we can make sure that we do have that complete shape. Done. Oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost. There it goes. That's basically it, guys. That's the Shape Builder tool in a nutshell. I was able to quickly, from a reference, create an amazing looking spaceship um, from my reference point. Now I can add some details, like um, like the, my cool little lights, which is gonna be just an oblong circle. I do find, though, that to make it consistent, you should just copy and paste these um, these circles in order to make sure that they're all consistent in the same shape. So I'm going to do that now. My uh, my little drawing wasn't very consistent. That's okay. We'll just make it consistent. Um, I could even hold shift, keeping the same shape, so I can make it look like um, each part's a little bit smaller from one point to another point. Oh, too big. Boom. I now have a spaceship exactly the way I want it to look from a reference point. Now you can use this exact same thought process when even creating those lines um, that's going down the center. Um, uh, especially if you wanted to go ahead and do that now. It's using the pen tool. I go click, anchor, anchor outside escape do it again click anchor anchor yeah. escape look at this now if I hold down shift key I can keep the line straight maybe that's a little extra tip 
uh, in case you didn't know, if I want to make sure that this was a straight line up and down, I can hold the shift key. Escape. Man, how easy is this? Almost done, people. And boom. I can use the same process now for the shape builder tool to make the rest of this stuff go away. I'm going to do that now. Combine, 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 combine. Oh. Made those go away. Yep, I had to make negative those out. That's fine. Dual shape. And done. Literally that easy, folks. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Um, blow your mind with Lyle Dilly. Hopefully you can quickly uh, drop your own references and make your own creations and stuff. Later on, um, if you want, I can show you how to quickly color these, but that will be for another lesson here on Blow Your Mind Learning. Um, Thanks again, and uh, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, keep learning, folks. Keep blowing your mind when it comes to this stuff. Talk to you later.